this is going to be the first video in our little series where we go about creating a flashlight that we are going to have the ability to hold, toggle on and off, and have it be replicated over the network so that way any client that is relevant to the flashlight can see it. And the state is also going to be synced so that there's no out of sync. So one client might see the flashlight on, the other one might see it off. We're going to make sure they stay in sync. So to begin, what we're going to be doing in this video is creating our flashlight class with just the basic stuff that we need. So obviously the mesh, we need some form of light to add to it and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do first is just go ahead and look at what kind of light we want. So if I come over here to lights under our place actors tab, uh, I already know it's going to be a spotlight, but if you look at a point light, you can see it's a cone all the way around. If we look at the spotlight, it's directional like so. We can change the cone. So we obviously want a spotlight. Now, if I go ahead and create a blueprint class for the spotlight, let me search for spotlight. We see spotlight and we see spotlight component. So this emits a directional cone shaped light and the spotlight itself is just the actor. So for example, if I go ahead and create the component, I can't really drag it out into the world or anything, but what I can do is I can just, uh, for now I'm just gonna create a quick actor. I'm gonna add, let's just call it test spotlight component. Let me add the test spotlight component. You can see now it has the light kind of being emitted from it. So I'm actually going to rotate this a little bit. Oops, uh, straight down. But now when I drag out the new blueprint, we have a light to it. So we want to add the spotlight component to it, not the actual light itself, because if we look at the I don't know if it'll show us in here, spotlight, it's derived from actor. We don't want to make it an actor. There's not really a point for that. We're just going to use the component. So we're going to create our actor. We're going to add the spotlight component. We're going to add a static mesh component so we can see the flashlight. And just kind of do a basic setup of what we will need. So let's go to C++ classes. We're going to go ahead and create our class. We right click, new C++ class, actor. Go ahead and select public so it's in its own little section. And let's give it a name of flashlight. I can't name mine flashlight because I named my project flashlight like a dope. So I'm gonna name mine held flashlight. And I can change this whenever we get to uh, making the blueprint version of it. So it doesn't really matter anyways. Go ahead and hit create class, wait for it to create and appear in your IDE. Okay, there we go. So I now have there it goes, now it reloads. It has been created. I have my held flashlight.h and .cpp. The only thing I have to do now is change the include for the .cpp. So what you're gonna wanna do to find it, uh, actually, can we just search for public? No. So you're gonna do the project name. So in my case, it's flashlight and public, then held flashlight.h. So that'll direct it to the path that it needs to find it. So then we're gonna change tick. We don't want it to tick, so we're gonna set that to false and just go ahead and ditch our tick function, like so. So we no longer have that. Now, a uh, quick iteration, this is a default third-person project. The only thing I've done was I removed anything related to VR out of the third-person character just to kind of keep it clean. So it looks slightly different, and that's what you're doing. That's the only thing. Just feel like pointing that out. Anyhow, now we need to include the components that we will need. So if we head back over and uh, let's actually look at the spotlight again. So it's spotlight component. So a component starts with a U, so it's going to be U spotlight component. I search right in here. Uh, yep. All right. So the include for that is components spotlight component dot H. So we're just going to go ahead and paste that in our .cpp. And we're also going to have a static mesh. So I'm just going to go ahead and include components, static mesh component.h as well. And let's start setting that up. So let's do our actual mesh first. So that's going to be a U property. Edit. We're going to do edit defaults only. Category equals tutorial. And you can ignore the category. You don't have to do that. I'm doing it for my sake if I ever need to find it for some odd reason. And I just realized I'm looking through U property, so it really doesn't matter. 
I want to delete that. Uh, we want to forward declare it, so we're going to do class u static mesh component. It's going to be a pointer, so we're going to call it flashlight mesh, like so. Now we want to add the uh, what was it? Spotlight component. So u spotlight component. So we're going to do, again same thing u property. Edit defaults only, so we can change the values of it. Class u spotlight component and spotlight component. Now we just got to go over to the .cpp and set those up. So flashlight mesh equals create default sub object. It's a template, so u static mesh component text uh, flashlight mesh component. And we want to make that our root. So root component equals flashlight mesh. Now we have to do our other one. So the, uh, I remember the name, spotlight component equals create default sub object, u spotlight component. And the name is spotlight component. Oops. Like that. So now we are pretty much set up with the basics for our flashlight. The, there's not really anything else I want to do. I want to go ahead and build it. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down the editor because I added a class. We already know how hot reload works when you do anything in the header. So let's go ahead and compile and relaunch. Okay, let's head over to our C++ class, find our flashlight, create a blueprint version. Uh, I'm going to actually create a new folder, and I'm going to call it flashlight. So I can just place it in there, and let's give it a name of BP underscore flashlight. So here's our class. We have our flashlight mesh, which, here, let's add a cube, because, you know, makes sense. And here's our actual spotlight. So... The only thing I'm not a fan on, well, actually, that'll probably work. So we're going to have to orient whenever we model up the flashlight. We're going to have to orient the direction to face the flashlight accordingly, as well as we also want to adjust things. So we want to adjust the value, like shrink the cone in probably, increase the outer cone, just give it a more of a flashlight look. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say. Just make sure it's movable, which it is by default. So now... I don't know if the... It's probably going to be blocking it. Why are you all the way over there? Reset you, and you can see the light. So, whoops. Move the whole actor around, the light follows, and that's kind of what our goal is for this. Now, the only thing I want to do now is... I don't know if it's really going to make a difference, but we're going to do uh, spotlight component, set up attachment, and the attachment we want to, yeah, we want to set it up to is our root component. Like so, do build, and hopefully hot reload actually works. What I'm curious about is that going to make it so when we drag this guy in, no, it still spawns at the world center. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but I'm not too worried about it. Anyhow, we are set up with our class. We have the basics of what we need. Now we just need a flashlight model so we can, you know, go through and attach it to this guy's hand right in this area. So that will be in another video. So I'll probably end up having a small little section where I model it, and I guess I'll go through and do a crappy little texturing as well. But regardless, I will see you in the next one. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where I also have a Team Deathmatch series just for my patrons, where you create Team Deathmatch from the ground up using C++, Unreal Engine, as well as create a bunch of other miscellaneous features such as a weapon customizer and more. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I or someone else will try to help you out. So, see you in the next video.